I've trusted my associate all day, so I guess I can trust him to place this class since there's only one out here. But uh, just an incredible group all the way through, right down to the Cavs. And it's too bad there more isn't more out here because they can sure stand some competition. But let's give this a big group. They're, they're really a really good group, and they could really stand competition. Let's give them a round of applause. Congratulations to the winning exhibitors heard who will receive a first place award presented by Show Fresh H2O of Ames, Iowa. And the winning herd goes to Arethusa Farm of Litchfield, Connecticut. Congratulations. While we've got a little break in the action, I'd like to introduce our judges for the 2019 International Milking Shorthorn Show. Our official judge is Keith Topp of Botkins, Ohio. Keith is a fabrication welder as well as a partner in Top View Farms. Owned with brother Philip, Top View is home to a 35 head herd comprised of all seven major dairy breeds. Top View has exhibited several champions at World Dairy Expo including the 1999 Grand Champion Brown Swiss, the 2005 Reserve Grand Champion Brown Swiss, and the 2013 Brown Swiss and Milking Shorthorn Junior Champions. Top stands center ring this year with an impressive judging career, including the 2013 International Ayrshire Show, the 2017 International Brown Swiss Show, the 2017 Jersey Judd Futurity, and most recently, the 2019 Midwest Spring Holstein Show, as well as numerous state and local shows. Top lives in Botkins, Ohio, with his wife, Kendra, and their children, Keaton and Kinley. And our associate judge for this year's Milking Shorthorn Show is Clark Morgan of Urbana, Ohio. Clark is owner of Morgan's Jerseys, a herd comprised of 15 milking jerseys that have an average classification score of 92.6%. Morgan's Jerseys also houses 15 to 20 jersey heifers. Morgan exhibits at various state and national jersey shows and has bred and exhibited numerous All-Americans, including an Ohio State Fair Grand Champion and the Reserve Senior Champion, at the All-American Jersey Show held during the North American International Livestock Exposition in Louisville, Kentucky. Clark has traveled Ohio serving as the judge for local shows and resides in Urbana with his wife, Alicia, and son, Jake. Let's give both judges a warm welcome.
If you'll turn your attention to the Melkian Shorehorn Ring, Judge Taff has completed his placings of the junior two-year-old Cal class. Would our juniors please take a step forward? Our second place junior is entry 1385, Hardcore Iron Man Ray, exhibited by Mina Schmidt of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. And our first place junior is entry 1386, Heavenly Pumpkin, exhibited by Madison May Gudex of Juneau, Wisconsin. In third place is entry 1387, Lazy M, Girls Gone Wild, exhibited by Lazy M Farm of Stitzer, Wisconsin. In second place is entry 1378, Lazy M, Jekyll, Arizona, exhibited by Trent Wingert of Kent, Illinois. And our first place winner, also first bred and owned, and best utter winner is entry 1388, Lazy M Greek Lita, exhibited by Lazy M Farm of Stitzer, Wisconsin. Judge, your reasons? Well, uh, just watch Senior Champion over there. Really nice job, Jack, but he's not lying. When you get out of here and get to analyze these cows, it is fun because this is an awesome group of junior two year olds out here. Uh, just uh, beautiful cows all the way down the line, but uh, taking nothing away from our first cow, just a beautiful cow, fresh in March, and still has that mammary system that's welded on there. It's that mammary system, that strength up through the front end, and the way she tracks out on those feet and legs today to take her over a really nice balanced cow in second. The cow in second, just like to see her track a little nicer on those rear legs and a little more pop to the top of that rear rudder today to get her to the top spot. Second over third, just travels a little nicer on those rear feet and legs. The third cow, a high style kind of a cow. You love the mammary system, but the right rear leg bothers me and Clark a little bit today to move her up into class. Third over fourth, just shows us a little more volume out through that rear rudder today. A little more open in her rib to get up in the class today. Fourth over fifth, uh, made a switch there at the end, but a little more rear rudder when you get right behind them and a little more fill to that midsection today to move her up in a class, but a really nice class of junior two-year-olds. Congratulations.